Hello everyone, I am Prasad from the Structural Guide. Today we are going to discuss about concrete curing time. Before more to the discussion, we would, I would like to request you all to follow our YouTube channel, Structural Guide. You may get the notification on new videos. What is curing of concrete? Curing of concrete not just only applying water on the concrete surface. There are different meaning, there are technical things behind that. So in thick concrete, that is the different scenario. In thin concrete, we may apply the water, that's okay, but uh, we have to be we have to know what are the technical stuff behind this. So let's start with the applying water or the moisture. Why we do moisture curing in concrete? Now in the concrete, if it is get dried, there won't be adequate water in the concrete surface. Now the concrete is made from basically the reactions of the hydration process. The hydration process it is uh, the reaction between cement and water. If there is if there is no adequate water and uh, adequate water to react with the cement then this reaction will be incomplete then the cover zone will be weak that will affect to the durability, durability of the structure therefore in a thin concrete especially in thin concrete we have to do the curing regularly and till it is required when, when it comes to thick concrete the technicality is different there are things to be considered, special things to be considered. If we discuss about the consequences of a bad curing, now in a thick concrete, if the temperature rises beyond certain level, like 70 degrees, core temperature, if, if the core temperature goes beyond 70 degrees, there may be risk of delayed ettringite delayed ettring formation. If this is happen, concrete inner core volume will increase then there will be cracks in the concrete that will affect the structural strength and durability of the structure in addition we have to make now that is one thing that is we have to reduce the temperature of the concrete second thing we have to maintain the temperature gradient that is the drop of the temperature from core to surface per meter drop from core to surface that is temperature gradient that has to be maintained at a certain level generally it's about 20 degrees we have to maintain the maintain the temperature different that is the temperature between core and the surface that different has to be maintained at a certain level generally it's kept around 25 degrees so we discuss three things first thing we have to reduce the concrete temperature we have to keep at certain level like 70 degrees then we have to maintain the temperature gradient like 20 degrees we have to maintain the temperature difference core and surface difference at about 25 degrees these three things we have to do this also this is done by the curing so there are different different method to do that we are, we are go not going to discuss that today in detail but like a like uh, controlling the concrete mix design we can reduce the temperature or we can use the internal piping network to absorb the concrete heat likewise there are different methods so most important thing we want to do you know is these things has to be controlled that is, these things are the curing of concrete in a thick concrete one more thing we want to discuss about the curing now similar to the absorbing heater some heat sometimes we need to uh, increase the temperature of the concrete now when you when we do a temp concreting in a cold weather in those situations the temperature will temperature of the concrete will be very low then it won't complete the hydration process as we wish so we have to increase the temperature in such a situations there are different different method curing method adapted to do 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 to increase the temperature okay. so those are the five main things we have to keep in mind when we discuss about the curing it's not just applying the water on the concrete surface 
it's a it, that's the one thing reduce the temperature maintain temperature gradient maintain temperature different and the increase of the concrete temperature are the other things we expect from the curing how long it should need to do the curing of concrete so it's depend on lot of factors now if we take the concrete strength gain now generally the concrete strength gain about a 70 to 80% by about 7 days rest of the strength is gain it's gradually but at a slow rate so this we have to consider during the curing process as i first explained the hydration process need to be complete to get the gain the strength so most of the strength if we gain earlier the curing should be done that early stage so as a general norm curing is done for 7 days up to 7 days it's a minimum period is the is the is we should do cure that's a minimum period that we should do the cure but in a thick concrete that this may be somewhat different because when we have a concrete like 1 meter 2 meter 3 meter so it's a 3 meter concrete so the core temperature will rise that we may be controlled by different method but the the drop of the temperature the, the heat generated in the core may not be come to a, the acceptable level or the required level within 7 days that have to be considered when we do those kind of a completing works that actually we can do or that we can identify by a mock up test if you do a mock up test before doing the actual concrete we we know what is the drop of the temperature so actual condition we do at the mock up so we get the data and we determine when we should stop curing those things we have to keep in mind when we discuss the curing period so generally it is 7 days but it could go beyond that too so if you can see this figure also Uh, now it this justify different thing but the most of its strength gain at about 28 days so so its strength gain at the 28 days so it's depend on the curing if we can do the curing at at 20 at about 28 days it's better But practically it may be very difficult during the construction processes but if you do more curing it's more strength we gain you can see if we cure the most of moisture entire time that is about one year <coughs> strength gain will be very high see but seven days and 20 days there is no much different but if you do lifetime at the end of the 365 days be be little bit higher side but practically it won't be done therefore as a general norm we do curing at about seven days that's what we are going to discuss today so let's meet from another video related to the civil and structural engineering thank you i am prasad from structural guide